these brothers my guys know that we fly know that they ride or die Hello friends welcome to our YouTube channel gaming with AZ and today we will talk about confluence battle this event is between two servers and it's like holy trial you compete in five stages let's go through the rules first you can pause the video to read all the rules i will tell you an important rule in this event that if you are castle 30 and you attack a castle which is level 26 or lower you won't get any points the only way to get points is that you ask your ally whose castle level is lower to rally their target or you can get the points through the defense as well and the next thing is the server that loses in the preparation stage needs to defend their holy mountain and if you lose the holy mountain if you won't get any titles for the two weeks you can revive your troops that have fallen in the hegemony stage on monday you can revive up to 90% of fallen troops with the help of your allies. The preparation stage ends on Friday and both servers can invade each other on Saturday and the battle of mountain will start at 14 UTC and these are the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th and 5th stage of the preparation stage. Now we will go through the 1st stage of the preparation stage. You should note that you should Use all your speed ups including training, healing, research, building in this stage. Because if you don't use the speed up in the first stage, you won't get any points from the later stages. So you should use all the speed ups on the stage 1. Now I'm going to show my building speed up. It is around 100%. I'm going to increase it further by using the gems. You can also increase it by getting the title from the holy mountain and you can increase it from that development skill from talent as well so you can see that it takes 3 days and 22 hours to upgrade the castle now when i use the skill it will take only 3 days now i'm going to upgrade the research hall as well and wait for the allies now when you are castle 30 in this game there is not much enough buildings to upgrade so you will basically run out of buildings to upgrade in this game so if I'm just going to upgrade my walls and some farms because you can see my hospital is level 30, my military hall is level 30, my academy is level 30, even my castle is level 30. So you can see here that I got the grand scholar. Now I'm going to increase my research buff as well by using the gems. Now I'm going to upgrade my march size. You can see my research speed is around 1.7%. Now I'm going to basically use all my universal speed up on the research because I do not want to waste it on the training. I have enough troops. I'm basically gonna increase my archer attack as well. So the archer attack is very important in this game to increase damage in the blood and glory and as well as increase damage in the altar. So I'm basically gonna rush so I think I have enough speed ups so yes I have enough speed ups so I'm basically gonna rush and try to get that archer attack as high as possible I only have few seconds left on the 20% development skill buff so I think I have yes ok the skill is still on so I, I have enough points I am currently rank 1 these are the rewards for the preparation stage and the hegemony stage you get sands of time, hero shard coins and the castle skin you can use the coins to get some good stuff from the sh event shop uh, which is sands of time you should get the sands of time and do not waste coin on anything else uh, one more thing i forgot to show is the amount of rewards you get from this six chest normally you get 400 sands of time for 100 dollar but you get 500 during the event now let's check the stage 2 which is upgrade the equipment and gather the resources. So this event is very easy to do. All you need to do is gather resources and upgrade the equipment. So I have already troops gathering in advance so I have got around a lot of points. Now I am going to upgrade my equipment. So I am basically going to spend all my materials on the equipment. And it is recommended that you use your blue gems as much as you can to get millions of points in the event. Now let's 
check the ranking in the event i think i got around 10 to 15 million points easily and yes i got around 14 million points easily i'm currently ranked one in the event stage 3 is about upgrading your heroes you get this much points for upgrading and spinning the wheel so you get lot of points for spinning the wheel so if you spend the money you can easily get above 30 million points in this event yes you heard it right if you spend hundred dollars in the event you get around 16 million points so basically if you spend money you can easily get top 5 in the overall rankings just by this stage so i'm just going to spend my gems to get around 35 chest so that i get some shards for this hero so now i'm going to upgrade my heroes you will notice that i'm not going to use my universal legendary fragment because i'm saving this for season 3 heroes i will now stop talking and you can just watch what i'm upgrading to earn points in this event I'm not done with the hero upgrades, so if we spin the ring of happiness 200 times you can easily get a lot of points and get top 5 in this event. Now there is one more thing that gives a lot of rewards, that is stage 2. If you get first rank you get around 100 cents. As you can see I was rank 1 in stage 2. Now let's check the stage 4. You need to upgrade the dragons and medals and as well as lord gems so basically this event is very tough to do you won't get much points from this event so basically i'm gonna upgrade the lord medal and i think i don't have enough clamps to upgrade the gems so now i'm going to upgrade the dragon so you get points for upgrading the dragon skill as well now i'm going to max the dragon so now my red dragon is maxed which gives 50 percent stats so you can see that I cannot get 3 chest so I have missed the emblem reward because you can't get much points if you don't spend money. Now let's check the stage 5. Stage 5 is about relics so you can easily get a lot of points in this event but still you won't get above 10 million points if you don't spend money. So this new addition gives the dragon upgrade shards so I'm going to upgrade one more time to get all the rewards so you can see uh, my overall ranking is rank 7 now I will show you the stage comparison between the two server you can see we won all the stage comparison uh, we won stage 1 we won stage 2 we won stage 3 and you can see our alliance was top in all five stages and as well as rank 1 in the overall rankings now I conclude this video if you learned something today Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget that the part 2 which will be the war will come next. Stay safe, stay happy and bye.